Hello dear students, welcome back to the physics video classes. In this class, I will take up the new chapter from the first PU, Mechanical Properties of Fleets. This chapter is my examination in Karnataka CET examination. Only one question is asked from every year. Some of the year they did not ask any questions from this chapter also. Moreover, I will cover all the questions that are asked in your previous year examinations. Let us move on to the first question asked in 2020. Young's modulus of a perfectly rigid body is, they are given four options. First of all, Young's modulus is the munche, modulus of elasticity, it is the ratio of stress divided by strain. Specifically, Young's modulus na define maadaga, it is the ratio of longitudinal stress to the longitudinal strain. Strain is nothing but change in dimension to the virginal dimension. Longitudinal stress, andre, it is nothing but the normal stress force divided by area. Longitudinal strain is change in length to the original length. That is rearrange maadaga, force divided by A into L divided by delta L. Question ali kailirtha kanta the perfectly rigid body. Rigid body is nothing but the body which does not change its shape and size when external force is applied. Perfectly rigid body means there is no change in the shape and size of the body when external force is applied. Now, how do you shape or size of change? Change in length of the body is equal to zero for a perfectly rigid body. Change in length is zero. Anything divided by zero is nothing but infinity. So, that Young's modulus for a perfectly rigid body is unity, infinity. The answer for the question is infinity. We move on to the next question asked in 2019. A wire is stretched such that its volume remains constant. The Poisson's ratio of the material of the wire is. They are given four options. We know that Poisson's ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. Lateral strain and the this is the wire attached to the rigid support. Yavaga now load na attach mardaga, ye wire na gutte stretch agate. Yavaga wire stretch agata, other the length ena togate increase agate, a wire in a diameter decrease agate. That is, Poisson's ratio is nothing but fractional decrease in the diameter of the wire to the fractional increase in the length of the wire. E ratio na na vena the karate, Poisson's ratio. Illi na vi vera de kuita kanda relation gutila. We know that volume of the body that is the cylindrical shape so that the volume of the wire is given by pi r square l. Now we have fractional change in volume na calculate matter. That is nothing but error type. So delta v by v is equal to yavaga now percentage na calculate martiva avaga constant na eliminate marbe. Constant na leave marbeku e power na il barko beku 2 into delta r divided by r plus delta l divided by l l na power 1 is 1 into this one is delta l by l Note this is the representation of percentage error pi means it is a constant leave it the constant power na even maad beko side al beko that is in the multiplication for this is called it as a percentage error formula ill e nil idharadhra question alli when the wire is stretched volume remains constant stretch maad daga volume remains constant again. so that change in volume is equal to 0 ayat Whenever the change in volume is 0, this is become 0. So that delta L divided by L is equal to minus 2 times delta R divided by R. Even the equation is substitute maadhi Sigma is equal to minus delta R divided by R divided by delta L by L is nothing but minus 2 times delta R divided by R. This one get cancelled. This is becomes 1 divided by 2. So sigma is equal to expand to 0.5. So, answer for the question is 0.5. Note it, practical mathe theoretical value different. Ide. This is the practical value and theoretical value. Practical value, theoretical value, sigma is greater than minus 1, less than 0.5. Practical value is greater than 0, less than 0.5. Almost all the material having a practical value of the Poisson's constant. This is the concept regarding the Poisson's constant. We move on to the next question asked in 2018. Two wires A and B are stretched by the same load. If the area of cross section of the wire A is double that of B, then the stress on the wire B is on the other. Andre, I learn that stress in a relation A and B wire in a relation A and the other. This is the wire, it is connected to a rigid support. This is the another wire B, it is connected to a rigid support. 
their load is given to the same load this is mg load here also mg load they are given area of cross section of the wire a is equal to two times the area of cross section of the wire b we know that stress is nothing but force divided by area iga eradu wire ge calculate maana stress on the wire a is equal to force divided by area of cross section of the wire a similarly stress on the wire b is equal to force divided by area of cross section of the wire b they are given same load same load agirodrinda force en agirutte same agirutte so that stress on the wire a is equal to force divided by area of cross section of the wire a is two times the area of cross section of the wire b so that f divided by area of cross section of the wire b is nothing but stress on the wire b so this can be written as stress on the wire b divided by 2 therefore we got stress on the wire a is equal to stress on the wire b divided by 2 or stress on the wire b is equal to 2 times the stress on the wire a question al kelir takkantadu then what is the stress on the wire b stress on the wire b is equal to 2 times the stress on the wire a so that twice on that of a the answer for the question is option b we move on to the next question asked in 2017 young's modulus is defined as the ratio of question ali young's modulus andre enanta kelidare similar type of question asked in the 2016 also what is the ratio of hydraulic stress to the hydraulic strain anta kelidare av eradu question onde idralli explain martini young's modulus andre it is the ratio of longitudinal stress to the longitudinal strain longitudinal stress is also called as a normal stress it is also called as a tensile stress so that young's modulus is defined as tensile stress to the longitudinal strain so answer for the first question is it is the ratio of tensile stress to the longitudinal strain similarly there is a another one modulus of elasticity that is called as a bulk modulus bulk modulus is nothing but hydraulic stress to the hydraulic strain hydraulic strain is also called as a volume strain hydraulic stress is also called as a volume stress similarly another one will be the shear modulus or rigidity modulus tangential stress to the tangential strain also shear stress to the shear strain we are call it as a rigidity modulus it is also call it as a shear modulus the meaning of modulus of elasticity nodi illi idu wire ide wire ina length yell ide nanu ond ishtu force na apply martin that is call it as a tensile force force na apply maadadaga ee wire alli enagutte stretch aagta hogutte that is there is a change in the length of the wire so now we used to force apply more than yes to strain create a good other than a way and the car to be in smart alas and the credit other it is in the non complete pressure yalla side in the no force not play Martha of the name are going to give all you may not talk with the changes of the world that is we are call it as a bulk model as in another model as will be there shear model as a rigidity model as ill on the box is there in line my didn't either not fix my didn't it lower end and I get a fix I get it ill in the nine nine martin and the force not play martin it is a force not play martin force not it is a play martin again I got them there you fix the end of the other it is changes are gonna eat in the shape of change at the birthday that is change in the shape of the object without changing the volume we are defined as a shear model as a rigidity model as that is when the force is applied there is a change in the shape of the body without changing the volume of the body we are defined as a shear modulus or rigidity modulus e question al keli ratha kanta the ratio of hydraulic stress to the corresponding strain hydraulic stress to the corresponding strain we are call it as bulk modulus so answer for the question is option a we move on to the next question asked in 2016 a spring is stretched by applying a load to its free end the strain produced in the spring is they are given four options now this is the spring attached to the rigid support there is a load at the free end this load acts a force that is mg downward e force downward act at the road in the either lane of the stretching concept there will be a change in the length so that there will be increase in length delta L. length increase are the length increase at the end that is corresponding to the longitudinal strain here also longitudinal strain here also longitudinal strain the ga shear stress produce are the note back this volumetric stress is nothing but hydraulic stress volume only out there it is changes are good enough only there will be change in the length ega shear stress is nothing but shape shape alli enadru change aguthe check maana nodi illi free end iruvudrinda 
ಈ ವಾ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಶೇಪ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶೇಪ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶೇಪ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾಂಚಿಟ್ಯೂಡಿನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಶಿಯರ್ ಲಾಂಚಿಟ್ಯೂಡಿನಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಶಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶೇಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿ ಮಾಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ರ ಇನ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಎಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಕೇಳಿದಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ನ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಜಿಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ವೈರ್ ನ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಲೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಲೋಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ನೋಡಿ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡುಲಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಟು ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾಂಚಿಟ್ಯೂಡಿನಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಇಂಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಫ್ ನ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈರ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಹೇಳಿ ಕೇಳಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಎಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವೈ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಎಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡುಲಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡುಲಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಎಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡುಲಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಫೋರ್ಸು ಸೇಮ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೆಂತ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಗೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್
25 by 3, 25 by 4. Extinction is more in the first case. So, that answer is option A. We move on to the next question asked in 2010. Which of the following substances has the highest elasticity? Elasticity is nothing but it is the property of the material of the body which recover its original shape and size when external force is removed. Yavda one the substance mele external force na apply mardaga, a force na remove mardaga, original shape of the size na recover markandre, we are call it as a more elastic. Aduna yavriti check mardo on the Nodi, e rubber gana won solipa force apply madre sako, adu original shape and size gabarala, because adu break agate. Similarly, as well, sponge again. Mathe copper mathe steel ali check marbek. Nodi, elasticity na check marbek adre, now extension na check marbek agate. Yava material la tumba kadame extension na torsuto, our material will be more elastic. So, yava material ga yinks modula so tumba jasti ruto, otherly extension na kadame rate. We know that in the previous problem only, Young's modulus is nothing but force by area into change in length to the original length. This can also be written as F divided by A into delta L divided by L. So, delta L is equal to FL divided by A into Young's modulus. So, change in length that is the extension is inversely proportional to the Young's modulus. If Young's modulus of the material is more, extinction will be less. Extinction less andre, that is the highest elastic material. Among these four options, Young's modulus of the steel is greater than Young's model of the steel is greater than Young's modulus of the copper. Similarly, Young's modulus of the steel is greater than Young's modulus of the iron, it is also greater than copper it is also greater than aluminum so young's modulus is more for steel so that less extension less extension in the sense highest elastic so answer for the question is option d thank you